obstructive sleep apnea. Now for this, I want you to think of um, maybe uh, an older patient, an obese patient perhaps. And uh, it's the fact that there might be obstruction taking place while breathing out. And so therefore around the vocal cords, maybe there's a, uh, the, uh, the pharyngeal folds and such, and there might be excess muscle. There might be excess flap, quote unquote. And so therefore it makes it difficult for your patient to properly breathe, especially at night, huh? sleep apnea. Maybe for intervals of greater than 10 seconds, there might be lack of proper breathing. That's amazing. That's very scary, isn't it? At some point in time, what is going to happen? This patient is not breathing properly. So if there isn't proper ventilation taking place, then what is the patient retaining? Because the patient is not able to blow off. What are you supposed to blow off normally? Good. Carbon dioxide. But that isn't happening in a patient with obstructive sleep apnea. You're literally obstructing the ability to exhale your carbon dioxide. Where is it remaining? Within your blood. Hmm. What does carbon dioxide mean to you in terms of pH? Carbon dioxide equals acid, doesn't it? Of course it does. Think about the carbonic anhydrase formula. So you're producing acid. So what kind of acidosis is this? Respiratory acidosis, isn't it? And at some point in time, maybe with obstructive sleep apnea during the day, you might find it a little sleepy and the patient might be feeling a little tired and such. So obstructive sleep apnea. So now what happens? Obesity, rapid weight gain with snoring, neck size, greater than 17 and a half centimeters. What kind of treatment measures are you worried about in this patient? Well, you need to make sure that you clear up that airway ASAP. Think of CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure. What kind of drugs might you, might, might you be thinking about treating this patient with obstructive sleep apnea? OCPs, NSAIDs, steroids, phenylephrine. Okay, so think about this. This is no joke. Obstructive sleep apnea, once again, is a huge issue. And so therefore, those, that are, those of you that are going into um, family medicine and so on and so forth, you're going to be involved in sleep studies. And that is going to be a huge part of your practice because you're going to find a lot of people coming in with such issues and would have secondary hypertension. Keep that in mind. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.